Today, our topic is going to be non-evaluative prescriptions. These are prescriptions people seek out on the internet or they hear about them in marketing ads on your shock rock radio AM stations or FM stations that pump out the idea that you can get a controlled medication without a prescription sent to your door and with your anonymity protected. Sounds good, doesn't it? And you can also get them fairly cheaply. Another incentive. What's wrong with that? Well, there's a lot wrong with that when you think about what you're doing to yourself and, and the risk you're taking. So, why would you do these things? If you know they're risky, you know they have health concerns for you. Well, there's a lot of motivating factors for guys. The big one is embarrassment. They want to protect their anonymity. I don't want my guys at the bar knowing that I need an ED medication or I need testosterone because my muscle mass is, is starting to fade because I'm getting older. The other thing is they want to do it themselves. I've got a tool. I'm going to use it. Doesn't matter if it's the wrong tool for the job. They're still going to try and use that tool to fix their problem. The next thing that comes in is erectile dysfunction. Guys don't want to talk about erectile dysfunction. They don't want to know about it. They, don't, they just know what happens and they're tired of it and they're going to fix this. Again, DIY, I'm going to fix this myself I'm, by protecting my anonymity by going to some overseas pharmacy that might be FDA approved. However, there could be problems in the manufacturing that could be old. They could be a prescription that the FDA has eliminated but yet is still being made overseas. You got to be careful here, folks. The other thing to consider is your doctor knows what strength and what dosages you need. Why would you want to do that for yourself? You're not trained to do that. So don't take it upon yourself. Get to a doctor. So when we get down to it, we have to look at the risk factors involved with taking Viagra, Cialis, and testosterone without being evaluated by a physician. Headaches hypotension, meaning low blood pressure, neuropathy, tissue damage, you've got nosebleeds, you might become psychologically addictive, there might be a psychological dependency on these. The body mind connection is pretty strong. If you convince yourself you can't get an erection without Viagra Cialis, guess what? When you come off of it, you can't. Your erection, it's just, you just can't turn it on. So there's your dependency. All right, infertility. If your body has taken in too much testosterone, there's a message being sent to your testes saying, we don't need any more. So it starts shutting off the production of sperm.